Hello Glass Industry, it's Mark from Glass Open Book and in this episode news from OI, Vidrala, Shot and Guardian Glass. But before we start, a few words about the sponsors of this episode. We'd love to thank Vertec for sponsoring this episode. Vertec has been providing software solutions for the glass industry since 1995. Their system is called SEAL and it provides manufacturers with very precise real-time KPIs on the performance of the whole plant, from the batch to the palletizer, through the mold shop and quality labs. Click product inquiry to contact Vertec directly via Glass Open Book. Well, the first quarter of the year is over and it means that glassmakers are announcing the financial results for this period. Well, from what we can see now, from the companies like OI and Vidrala, the demand for glass packaging shows stable growth compared to previous years, which were tough because of the pandemic. Vidrala reported the 18.8% increase in sales over the previous year with a total amount of 278.9 million euros. OI has also stated the European shipment increased by 9.9% .9 in tons, primarily due to strong growth of this industry. The company's net sales were 1.7 billion in the first quarter of 2022, compared to 1.5 billion dollars on the previous year quarter. You can find the links to the full reports in the description below. If the glass makers experience high demand, then the whole supply chain is going up too, like Butcher M Head Glass has recently reported a very good start for the year as sales doubled compared to previous year. And we are happy that the glass market is slowly getting back on track and that customers' demand for glass packaging keeps going up. We can skip the topic of hydrogen as well. This time, SHOT is entering the game as a specialty glass producer, they belong to an energy-intensive industry. The company is leading several projects to develop climate-friendly glass melting processes. Until now, SHOT's furnaces have been heated with natural gas and in some cases with electricity. But now the company plans to test hydrogen and natural gas blends in large-scale melting trials at a furnace at its mine's headquarters for the first time. The plan is that during this trial the R&D experts at SHAT will gradually replace natural gas with hydrogen. The company will then use these experiments to learn more about the effects of hydrogen in glass melting processes. And we hope to see some groundbreaking results from SHAT. And interesting news in the field of digitalization. Guardian Glass has launched an e-learning platform which is called the Guardian Glass Training Center. The developers, or in this case the glass maker, claims that platform provides you with all tools necessary and resources to help you learn all you need to know about the glass from the basics of glass and how it is made to glass performance, coating and color. So, how do you learn there? You can book an online video learning session, attend one of the accredited online training courses, register for an educational webinar or schedule a training workshop or seminar with one of their glass experts. Well, if you have already had a chance to complete some of these courses, we would be glad to hear your opinion in the comments below. Still, this is a very valuable contribution from Guardian Glass. That's it for this week. Make sure you follow your YouTube channel and share this video with your colleagues. It's been Mark from Glass Open Book. See you very shortly. Goodbye.